Hello one and all, welcome back to more Let's Play Persona 5, I am the Max of Trades, and the last part, I kind of meandered about and tried to do my best to up any social rank I possibly could, and in this part, we're pretty much going to be doing more of the same, although we have less time, so we're probably going to get into the story, too. Mm, it's going to be quite the roller coaster. I can already anticipate it. However, I have received notification about a certain thing, okay? Here's the thing. And if people have been talking about it this much from, like, what parts actually posted now, compared to, like, I don't even know how upset people are going to be by this point. <laughs> Hopefully not incredibly. Uh, basically, there's a social link that people want me to do, because apparently it's really good, and I have to do it, so I'm going to. Hopefully there's enough time to do it. I'll, I'll, apparently it's just that dang important. Like, oh man, like, huge regrets, don't, you gotta do it. Okay, fine, fine. I can't do it today. But I can work here for right now, so that's what I'm gonna do. I shall now go don my apron. Okay. Eh, almost time for the customers to show up, so you know, just do what you gotta do. Lala seems busy. Hey, there's a customer who's all alone. You should go check up on them. Okay. Which customer should I talk to? Oh, I can't talk to. Hmm. Interesting. All right, I guess I'll talk to the drunkman. What up, drunkman? You work here part time? Ah, uh, you look very young. This might bore you, but I wanted to ask, what do you think of our nation's economy? Well, I'll tell you what I think about the economy. This is shambles. They use tax money as an emergency measure to restore the economy. It only increased our nation's debt, which in turn burdens us, the citizens. This is really a good strategy for revitalizing the economy. Uh, this is gonna take some time. All right, let's learn some stuff. He talked a lot about politics and economics. I did not anticipate that. I'm guessing we're getting a knowledge boost from it. Yep. I'm surprised anyone could be so long-winded. Well, he did talk about a pretty difficult topic. I'm sure you gained some knowledge out of it. Yeah, marginal! Woo! Taking what I can get! All right. Uh-huh, this looks important. Good evening. Oh my, you look quite exhausted. Here, have a seat. Well, so your boss has been bullying you again. As soon as I talk back, he makes sure I know I'm lower than him. Uh, yeah, he insinuates he'll demote me. After that, I'll overhear him talking about me, calling me useless while I'm at work. Oi, let me tell you. And everything I've done, all the results I'm getting, somehow he's taking all the credit. This is the worst kind of workplace abuse. I cannot believe that, man. So many people have quit because of stress, and yet the higher-ups all ignore it. Uh, of all the terrible bosses I get in the world, why did I have to be with Shinsuke Kishi? Eh, uh, Lala. I wish those Phantom Thieves could do something and help me with this. Convenient! Like how? Are you gonna ask them to steal all your stress away? Haha, <laughs> no. I guess it's impossible. But it's nice to think about. Not as impossible as you think. Hey, hey. hey, did you hear that? Isn't that the same guy that Mishima mentioned before? Indeed he do. Let's help him. Okay, we can do that. Yo, alright. Let's try and head to Mementos at least once before the story picks back up. Who knows when I'm going to get another chance. Thanks for your help. A miner like you should probably, you know, leave. Anyway. All right, you were speaking with uh, Nagasan, right? He's a banker. He talks a lot, but he's got a wealth of knowledge. So, you know, talk to him and stuff and maybe you'll learn some things. Anyway, here's your money. Now get out of my freaking bar. Awkward pause. There we go. kind of weird that I use the exact same apron for every job. Like, do I just carry that around with me? In case I decide- in case somebody decides to hire me? I gotta be honest, I'm- I'm rather confused by that. Or rather, they just don't want to make a bunch of different outfits when you could just use the same one. And that's the more, you know, practical answer. Oh, hey oh, I guess we could probably read something. All right. Alright, let's learn some more about like, cyber crimes, yo. Do you have virus protection? Introducing the newest software. What are your thoughts? There's danger afoot all over the world, even in the intronets. You don't want to get your tubes all clogged with, like, spam oh. and stuff. They were like gentlemen thieves targeting evil corporations, but now they're glory-seeking hackers. They're sort of like us phantom thieves that nobody knows exactly who they are. Either way, I've just got myself some knowledge. Whether or not that's going to make a difference at any point, I have no idea, but there you go. Apparently, that was a good use of my time. I'll take your word for it, kitty cat. 
Oh, now it's morning. That usually means I'm gonna be having the... I'm, I'm forced into doing stuff. Alright, picking up with the thing, we're talking about the French Revolution. As Japanese students, I'm sure that's incredibly interesting and important to all of you. Having executed the royalty, the revolutionaries proceeded to take the courts under their control. All who opposed the revolution were executed. Yeah, that's pretty much the go-to when it comes to stuff like that. However, the revolutionaries too were then relieved as... Uh, reviled as despots and executed by the public. All in all, more than 2,900 people were executed over the course of the revolution. The fact that this many executions were possible was actually due to one specific invention. Well, considering you're talking about France and execution, you're probably talking about the guillotine. Yep. This device made mass extinctions possible. Ex extinctions. <laughs> I don't. It's not that good. You know what's called? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I mean, you can pretty easily tell what it is, even if you've never even heard the word guillotine, which I just kind of doubt in general. Correct. Yeah, that's not hard. The name guillotine comes from Joseph Engres Guillotine, the doctor who proposed the idea. Lopping heads off. Super fast. It may look cruel, but it delivered a swift, painless execution regardless of one's social status. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that it embodied the French spirit of equality. Okay, that's kind of a messed up way of Heard it putting it, but I mean, okay. Whatever, dude. Revolution is sometimes a bloody thing, in that it is always a bloody thing. I don't. I don't. I can't think of a single revolution that ever ended in not blood. The revolutionaries that rose up for freedom became despots themselves. Common tale. You know, tale as old as time. Something, something rhyme. Our social reform doesn't hurt anybody in the real world. It's a bloodless revolution! <laughs> uh, wait for it. The game is very adamant on setting this all up so that it's like, yep, everything's gonna work out just fine. Nothing horrible is gonna happen at all. Yeah, I should probably tell Mishima about a lot of things. What of it? All right, we got the promise list and a clinical trial. Oh, boy. I got to... Oh, I can finish up Takamaki. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh, as soon as I remember where she is. The clinic! Right! Haha! <laughs> Doctors! I remember. I'm not dumb. They call it a brain fart. Get off my back. Also, I'm aware of Futaba. Don't worry, Futaba. It's just that this is finishing this thing off, which means I'll never have to, like, come back here again. Anyway, I saw the all sorts of messages. Let's talk about some stuff. There's no need for a clinical trial. You came at the perfect time. Come in. Can do, can do. Time for some voice acting. The girl that I've been treating is coming in soon. I want you to see how she's doing. Yay! Progress! Medical science! Woo! Hey, doctor. Does it matter who likes someone first? That's an interesting voice you have, child. But you're ill, so I shall choose not to make fun of you for it. What are you talking about? There's a boy I like. But my friend told me that I have to let her have him because she liked him first. Not exactly the conversation I was expecting to have when this scene started, but, uh... Either way, it sounds like you got some terrible friends. Oh, that's not true. Really? Yep. Then why did she say that? To get you out of the competition! It's likely because she's jealous of you. Just be careful, because it might result in pandemonium. The most pandas, like so many pandas, you don't even know. Pandemonium? All hell breaking loose! Cats and dogs. That girl's gotten a lot better. So much so, in fact, that now she's gossiping. Well, that's true. You, you have to be a certain level of healthy to be able to do that without, you know, feeling like there's better things to do. She even comes in on days she doesn't have to. It appears she's nearly fully recovered. Huzzah! Which reminds me, the new medicine will be completed soon. Hell yeah. Considering that she's mostly cured, I kind of assumed. Your data has been extremely helpful due to your generic body type and bland health history. Well, I'm glad my extraordinarily large amount of boring has been able to help the medical community. You've been a splendid guinea pig. I mean, participant. Eh, you can call it whatever you want. So thanks again. Tain't no thing. By the way, how have I been doing? Have I been helpful? Um... In what regard? For your escapades with the Phantom Thieves, 
I mean. All right, so I think it's a pretty fair, safe assumption to say that uh, when you reach rank 10 with somebody outside of the, the, the thieves group, they figure it out. Which, admittedly, I'm fine with because, God, we are awful at hiding and I'm surprised. Uh, what? Come on. You and I both know that you were lying about needing to prepare for the entrance exams. Well, I mean, yeah. I visited Oyamata in jail. Why would you do that? A swing of fortunes like that could have only come at the hands of the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, well, you know. And to have it happen when it did? Isn't the only logical conclusion to think that it's you? Stop being so intelligent! Alright, well, what if it is? A normal person would probably... Bruh, get the police involved. Notify the police? Yeah. Well... I don't care. Hell yeah, you don't! The point is, that without you, I wouldn't have been able to complete my mission. I would have never finished the new medicine while I was being deceived by Oyamata. And a uh, kid would probably have died in the process, so... And I would have never met any of the townspeople. Who you seem to care about now, that's great. I bet the Phantom Thieves save people in need, just like doctors do. Huh? I mean, that is what we're trying to do, at least. So, I'll go out on a limb for you. Okay, but I don't actually need the limb. I'll have even more powerful medicine ready for you. Huzzah! I trust that you'll use them appropriately. No promises. Can't say I ever thought I'd reach rank 10 of such a macabre thou, thou arcana, but I, here we go. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. And she's a doctor, so she knows what she's doing with blood. shall become the of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Bet that smells bad. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of death. <laughs> the infinite power. I suppose being privy to the ultimate secret of death would give you a lot of power. Resuscitation! Increase the selection of revival items at the clinic. Hell yeah! And I can also make Alice. Not who I would have expected to be the ultimate persona of death would be. Like in Wonderland or someone else? I'm not gonna give them to you for free though. Well I wasn't expecting that. That would break the game. So you better make some money in the name of justice. I don't know. I usually just steal stuff. <laughs> now go. Take care. Can do. Thank you very much. Alright, so I do believe that's four four characters that we've maximized. Not bad, not bad. And we're relatively close to the others. Well, that was the wrong button. Interesting. I had never seen that before. That's cool. <laughs> I guess that's how you're able to, like, say, find somebody if they're out running around somewhere. Let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You around. Yes, you are. I have 100,000 yen. All right, let's go. Everybody wants me to do this, so I guess I'm going to have to do this. I don't want to spend all of my dang money on something I'm pretty sure isn't going to work, but uh, as soon as I can remember where I found this this, this person. Hello. Oh, no, okay, there you are. Yep, 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 yep. All right. I'll fall for your scam if that's what the viewers want me to do. Yep, I had a very abnormal destiny in all that jargon. That is way too much money. If you do end up buying one, we should go home and test it out. Well, what do you want to do? I'll buy one. There you go. Holy stone acquired. Woo. Mm -hmm. It's the smart thing to do, considering this is the only way to avoid misfortune. It's already charged with a happiness aura, so you'll feel the effects right away. Don't forget to recharge it with moonlight every three days. Of course, if it's cloudy, then, you know, you can't really get to the moon, in which case I guess you're just completely SOL, but what are you going to do, man, eh? Please stop by again and let me know how your fate changed. Mm-hmm. I mean, apparently this is a full-fledged confidant, so uh, consider me interested on how we're going to be able to make such a firm relationship with a frickin' con man, or woo man, as the case may be. I was just about to close up shop, but I forgot to turn the stove off. I guess you start forgetting things more the older you get. Yeah, you just got the old timers. Don't worry about it. Last time we went to the fortune teller, that chief won the lottery. I wonder what kind of luck we'll have this time around. It should be awesome, right? I mean, we paid 100,000 yen for this holy- Ow, what the heck? 
Hey, can't you keep this thing a little cleaner? I can't be comfortable with all this gravel at the bottom of the... Wait, I have a bad feeling about this. Why is there gravel in my bag? Do you mind looking over the shop while I... Meow! The shone stattered! The, the shone stattered? Sure! The stone shattered! What's gotten into you? I am a cat! This tastes salty! Hey, the holy salt is just... Uh, the holy salt is just... Mm, I'm bad at this. The holy stone is just salt! A brick of salt? Huh. I am just a bit salty. You're... salty? That reminds me, I was just about to head out and grab some salt for the shop! I'll be back in a bit. Hmm. Huh. I think this is technically rock salt. I've seen the chief grinding some up before. Wait, in that case, maybe the holy stone is supposed to help you get better at cooking. I feel as if that's giving it a little too much credit. Yeah, no, we were definitely shystered. What? You're saying she scammed us out of 100,000 yen? We could have bought loads of fat tuna with that money. Pretty sure fatty tuna isn't a breed of fish. Just say tuna. So that holy stone was really just a phony stone in the end. Yuck, yuck, yuck. That fortune teller's name was Chiaya, right? She clearly has some kind of mystical power, but this is unacceptable. We need to go complain to her. Turns out the Holy Stone was complete and utter horse wash. Horse water, ho hog wash, whatever. I should go talk to her and, you know, figure out why she's decided to be so heinously evil and take my money. And maybe even give it back. So I doubt it. I sincerely doubt it. But, you know, dare to dream. People are talking about stuff. If the Phantom Thieves are doing it, then it shouldn't be a problem. Really though, who are they? If I met them, it would be cray. What are they waiting for? What do you mean? Yeah, we're... Nothing would ever make us suddenly decide that they were evil. Nothing could ever do that. Alright, who is on to fun? Alright, we've got... Okay, well, alright, let's see. Is anybody else around? No? Okay. Well then, there you go! Okay! And seeing as how I have a straight teleport over to you, hell yeah, alright! Sorry it's been so freakishly long, my friend. It's legitimately nothing against you. As much as it probably seems like it is, I'll, I'll admit. All we have to do now is wait. Meanwhile, I am here to observe the public in an attempt to refresh my mind. You need something? Oh yeah, duplicating cards. I haven't used those at all. Probably a mistake on my part. Anyway, I guess I came to chat. <laughs> you must have a wealth of free time if that is your decision. I am still unsatisfied by what happened at the exhibition. I have thought a great deal about it. And well, there's something I would like to try painting. Do you think you would be free to help? I mean, I flippin' guess. I'm in your debt. It would be rather difficult to go by myself. Now then, our destination is that one park that we always go to. Alrighty. Yep, yeah, I, I, I saw that microphone. You almost got unplugged. Not today. Thank you for your assistance today. After all, it would be impossible to sketch while rowing. Why are we on a boat? Yeah. <laughs> Why are we in a boat, Yosuke? What other reason could there be but to search for my next motif? I'm sorry that that was the worst possible answer. Mm. I'll be counting on your cooperation today. By which, of course, I mean your ore work. Shouldn't you have maybe gotten, like, I don't know, Ryuji for this? He's... Got better muscles. Look at all the ducks. They're so cute. Ah, don't get excited. You'll fall off, you know. Hmm. Perfect. This is it. The strangers? My previous painting captured only one aspect of the heart. Desire. As such, I was unable to arrive at a truly authentic representation. That is why we have come today. I shall paint a second aspect. The burning passion between man and woo-man. Okay. I... Suppose you could do that. <laughs> Fittingly, our theme today will be the wonders of love. You will have an important role to play here today as well. While I draw, ensure the boat remains as steady as possible amid these devilish ripples. Oh boy. Why do I get the overwhelming sense of dread? Mm-hmm. Yep, you sure do like art, man. Like, art, yo. Just so much art. Why do I get the feeling that they're going to be, like, related or something? Separation of any relationship? Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. This is the truth of the human heart! 
It'll make the most wonderful painting. It shall be adored by all who gaze upon it. May even be given top prize in the next exhibition. I feel like those are... Those sort of things, the things you just said, are the kind of stuff you're trying to avoid. I mean, I don't really understand how art works, but, like, I'm pretty sure you yourself just kind of told me that, didn't you? Wait, now's not the time to be thinking of some trivial matters? Hey. That's a rude thing to say. Eh. Return to your prior angle! Yeah, this is a great way to creep out people. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Legends? Art? This dude's off his rocker. Come on, let's report him. <laughs> this happens a lot. Hold on a sec, are you drawing us? You're using us as models. Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't read it. Uh, I guess you could call it that, but it's kind of weird. Yep, there it is. I told you I didn't want to come here with you. The only one who do this crap are stupid couples. I've always dreamed of coming to Tokyo and riding a boat here. Well, I mean, okay. I mean, I guess it was a safe assumption on Yusuke's part, but like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to side with the, with, 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 with the. The, the Sibbo is over there, okay? <laughs> this was weird, dude. And now I'm looking weird, too. What could this be? Familial. So that overflowing passion was just a figment of my imagination. Seems my bias has caused me to overlook the truth of the matter. Ah. Uh, maybe you should train more? And I am really bad at talking to Yusuke. Glad I decided to use my day for this. How does one train in the ways of romance? I see. Romantic love, familial love, the two may be nigh indiscernible, depending on one's point of view. One's creepy point of view, what is that supposed to mean? Perhaps the truth of the heart lies in the eye of the beholder. Hmm, I've learned something today! Okay, sure. Uh, happy to help, I guess? And he's learned artist talk. Because of course he has. Fair enough. Wait, so only couples ride these things, right? That means those two. Ah, oh boy. Shush. There are people from all walks of life here in the city. Well, I mean, okay. Hey. You're mistaken, but you're also not judgmental. So, kudos. What are they talking about? Ah, oh, well. Come! It is about time we return home. Rose to shore! My very spindly arms will not make us, you know, get there any bit quick, quicker, so, you know, you're gonna have to do it. Please don't make me do things. <laughs> I just want to draw. Uh, Alright, what do we got here? Alright, well, there's you, but what about cheerful fortune teller? Yep. Alright. People want me to drop things? You, you People are like, yeah. The way it makes a sound, yeah, everybody wants me to just drop everything. Fine. This is top priority. Second to story, you know. Gotta gotta obviously do that. And who's this nerd? Hey. Let's ask Chi. Ha ha ha! About the holy stone. But she's with a Kylant. A, a, a Kylant? You ever love it? Hell is a Kylant supposed to be? What the hell, brain? Sounds like they're talking about the holy stone. You want to eavesdrop? Is it really eavesdropping if I'm standing like half a foot away from them? <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's eavesdropping. I think that's just intruding. Um. Yeah, wow, check that out. We actually are not even that, f even any further away. I'm fine. It's my fault anyway. Yuya said so. He said he doesn't want to hit me, but I just make him so mad. Oh my goodness gracious golly gorsh. Okay, hello. We're talking about an abuse. What's going on now? I suggest you break up with him. Things are only going to get worse at this rate. But I'm the only person that cares about him. If I leave, how will he survive? Um, if this, if you really are the only way that this person will ever survive, and they thank you by beating you, uh, they don't really deserve that kind of treatment? Please, is there any other way? Now. Let us ask the tarot. Oh, the tarot. 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 Whatever. Divine power. Help me out of this awkward situation. Yeah. Is this 
Okay, yeah, I guess she does have some kind of power. Yes, I've seen everything. Hmm. I can sense a dark presence within your boyfriend. His heart seems to be possessed by a demon. Wait a second. I think I know where this is going. The demon may hide itself away at times, but when it strikes, it will bring with it great misery. What kind of misery? Uh, usually the kind that results in welts and fractures. Generally compound. We ain't talking hairline here. You will be hospitalized for severe injuries suffered in a domestic abuse incident, and will, he will be arrested. Hospitalized? Arrested? I knew I shouldn't have let you, you throw my holy stone away. He said I shouldn't be wasting my money on some dumb rock, that I should be giving it to him instead. This is my punishment for letting him do that, right? Please le let me buy another one from you. What? You want another? My next stone will need to be even bigger. I'm a little low on cash at the moment, but you, you said I could pay up to 36 installments, right? Uh, tr truthfully, I feel breaking up with him would be the best. I can't abandon you, yeah. For real? She really thinks her boyfriend will stop being abusive as long as she has a holy stone? That thing's made out of friggin' rock salt! Like, the only thing that's really gonna help you do is maybe season your fish dish. I mean, I ain't got time for entrees. There's no way that could be true, right? Yeah, it's it's rock salt, buddy boy. Mm. Right. It'd make our jobs way easier if we could really change someone's heart with a holy stone. Eh, if only we were living in a world full of the magics. I mean, we have a weird type of magic, but I'm talking more like, you know, the kind of universe that has, like, cure spells. It's clear that Chiaya has some fortune-telling skills, but that stone isn't going to do anything. And she also doesn't seem to want to hawk another one. Hey, Brynna, uh, why don't we change that uh, Yuya guy's heart ourselves? I mean, he's hurting this woman here, right? Perfect chance for the Phantom Thieves to save her. Hmm? Hmm? Meowing? What? Hey! Were you eavesdropping on us? Look, lady, if you weren't able to tell that I was standing here this entire time, you deserve eavesdropping. Like, that's just a lack of perception. For someone who can apparently see the future, you sure can't see three feet ahead of you. Eh, that's an invasion of privacy, you know. There's another solution! There is not! The thing is... You see, some fates in this world are simply inescapable. Oh! That demon with it in your boyfriend's heart cannot be exercised by normal human methodologies. Fate is absolute. Alright, well, here's the good news. I agree with you on that. But not in the way you think I do. Although I guess you might be able to control the demon's temper if you bought another holy stone. Eh, I'm not entirely sure who you are, but do you know of any other way I can approach this problem? Well, what is this fellow's name? Eh? Uh, Yuya Uchimura. Mm, why do you want to know? What are you planning on doing? Yes, what do you expect to change with that meager information? I'm going to change fate. Challenge it, you might say. With my mighty holy sword. What? You want us to believe you could do something? I... I trust you. Excuse me? It feels like he's telling the truth. And I mean, you know, I am going to a uh, fortune teller in the middle of the red light district for, you know, advice and help on my problems. So, <laughs> who am I to say that this random stranger is not capable of what he says? Besides, Yuya has all my money. He's gonna pay me back someday. But for now, I'd rather put my trust in this one boy than in 36 payments for a holy stone. What? You! What do you think you're doing? Uh, saving a person from not only getting their money stolen from a scam artist, but, uh, you know, stopping them from being beaten. So, good luck making me feel bad about that. If you keep making false accusations like that, the divine power will rain punishment down upon you. You look so pleased with yourself. Hmm. I've seen everything. A vision of you groveling on the ground. Fate cannot be changed, and I will prove that fact to you. If that woman stays with her abusive boyfriend, she will meet a horrible injury within a year's time. I sincerely agree with that. Yes, probably. Odds are high. Now, if you honestly believe you can change your destiny, go ahead and try. But once you realize the error in your thinking, come back and let a true expert handle things. I will save her with the Holy Stone! Well then, are we done here? I'm way too busy for this. Oh yeah, man, the line is just wrapped around the block. <laughs> like, whoo! Man, you are absolutely packed. When can I schedule a next meeting? I mean, whoo! Let me tell you. Alright. 
Okay, well, we've got more than enough reasons to go to Mementos now. That much is for certain. Hey. We can't just let that abuse go, go on undressed. The target should be in Mementos. So to Mementos we shall go! What am I doing today, Futaba? I'll tell you what I'm doing today. Wait, hang on. What are you doing? Hang on. Uh, I'm waiting on LeBlanc. Keep you posted. Can do! Decide later. Okay, what we need to do is head to the Honeycomb Hideout. Let's see. Yes, yes. D to the hideout. We must assemble the Alpha Force Delta Team. Charlie Beta Gamma. Omega. Alpha. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. I wonder when Haru's dad's gonna have a change of heart. Well, hopefully it's a change of heart, not an exploding heart. I really don't know what happens. I assume he's probably going to have a, a breakdown. Where did you- Where'd you even get that food, Yusuke? You poor! Where'd you get that tea? We own teacups? That's weird. Anyway, um, we need to hold a meeting. Oh wait, no, I think this is the wrong thing. I had to- Eh, whatever. I should find out what happened to my, my mom if Okamura has a change of heart and spills everything. Which is why they won't let him! Doing nothing here seems to be a bit of a waste. Why don't we try going to Mementos? Yeah, you've never been there. Oh, okay, well you have, but you haven't been there as part of the group. We can help people while we train there, so does anyone have any info? Yes, yes we do. Let's, uh, view requests! There we go. Well, everyone's here. This is a good opportunity to sort through the Mementos target info we have. We'll start with this one first. The intel's on a malicious cheating gamer. Apparently, he's been cheating at the arcades to show off recently. Well, that's true, but I also tried to find information about them, and I, 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 I couldn't. It's been nothing but an annoyance to the other customers, though. Okay. Let's change that immature jerk's hearts fast. We'll show him that a real man fights fair and square. Very well. I will go along with this. Thank you, Yusuke. Input is important as always. There are still more. Next is, the intel is on a harassing boss. He steals the achievements of his underlings without doing any work himself, all for his own profit. Apparently, many of the workers have quit because they couldn't handle his spiteful nature. Well... Using his position of power for wrongdoing! Such a horrible boss must repent for what he's done. With a punch to the groin, let us beat that rubbish mentality into submission! Yusuke, you certainly are a very good, uh, yes man, I guess. Anyway, the next one is on a man who's been abusing his girlfriend, and then everyone slammed their hands on the table and said, All we need to know, let's go! The man named Uchimura has assaulted her countless times. That fortune teller even predicted she'd be hurt badly if left alone. Those fortunes often come true. What a jerk. Fortunes aside, as I fail to see how that's relevant to anything, we can't let this guy use violence against her! I don't want her getting hurt. We should change his heart. You can count me I agree. Out. It's only natural for us to change the heart of a person like that. Call me, uh, susp you know, I'm probably more likely to take a, I have the hiccups now, a massive amount of, um, mm, drive and motivation to curing stuff like that. We already told Mishima, so the forum post is up and running. No objections, right? Yep. Alright then, let's go to flippin' mementos already, yo. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how we're go- I mean, I guess if the- the, the video game cheater guy saw the message, yes, but we still didn't best. have a name, and I don't understand. But alright, fine, whatevs. And it's at this moment in time I realize we're still in our Santa costumes. <laughs> uh, Let's focus and get moving. Okay, hold up. Hang on, hang on. I'll try to be as quick about this as I possibly can. Do that. Uh, winter clothes. Uh, Morgana classic. Summer clothes. Uh, Yusuke. I don't know. Summer clothes. Makoto. I'm pretty sure that's fine. Haru. Uh, yeah, summer clothes. Let's go with that. Uh, Futaba. Uh, butts. Uh, <laughs> S -s -s Summer clothes, that's the one with the Tetris shirt, yeah? Yeah, there we go, alright. Eh, not bad, yeah, these... Was, I managed to make everything go back exactly the way I thought it would. Okay, so... Let's see. Alright, so we got something there. Oh man, in three separate areas! Okay, well, this is gonna be an adventure and a half. Hmm, in retrospect, perhaps I should have gotten rid of those uh, surplus of Persona. Oh, well, nothing helping it now. We're right here, but I can't sense any targets. Perhaps we should go further down. As was my plan. 
And I'm sure we won't find anybody in the first five floors because that's just kind of how the world works. Very, very cruelly. Alright. Whoa, hello. Okay. Cool. I, have something. I wasn't really expecting you to do that like the, during your first attempt, but that's cool. Okay, well, now I know where to just ignore and where to go to get stuff. Don't mind if I do. Also, just to be on the safe side. Yeah. There we go. Knew I couldn't handle... I couldn't... Yeah, I can't carry anymore, but that doesn't matter. We're avoiding combat with enemies who would likely not really provide me with much anyway. Ha-da! There we go. Now give me your treasure. Yatta! A power come Mozilla! Why, that's some low-level equipment right there! <laughs> it just... It is, because we're in an earlier part of Mementos. Alright, there we go. I wonder what conversations we'll have now that we have Haru in the car. Also, I guess we have a lot of freaking space in this car. Carry all these sorts of people, it's crazy. Sure wish you'd stop trying to talk right as I'm about to, like, open a chest or, you know, open a door. I don't want to interrupt you, but you keep doing it. At, like, the worst possible second. Alrighty, still absolutely nothing. Driving around. At least at the at, at bare minimum, I managed to uh, grab a fair amount of stuff I can sell later. Which is always good. More money is never a bad thing. I say, I say, nay. What a wonderful kind of day where we can learn to work and play and get along with each other. Thank you and good night. Eh. All right. Oh, it's treasure. Always take treasure. Even if it's garbage, you never know. Yar. This safety dinosaur says some trash is okay. I am just doing a bunch of references to things today. It's not actual humor, it's just referencing stuff. Imitation katana. Yes, we can. Go well, look at that. Did you improvise that whole thing? Wasn't hard. <laughs> that's about the uh that's about as base standard as you could ever possibly get for a cheer like that, but hey, points for the enthusiasm. I mean if anybody in this group is gonna be a cheerleader, I mean it would be you. Sorry to, you know deal with, like, you know, uh, 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 stereotypes and what have you. Uh, apologies, but, you know, I feel like that is actually something you might consider to do in your life. Either way, we wait. And... I believe that monster tried to run away from me. Alright, well now I feel kind of bad for killing it. Hmm, unfortunate. Sorry about that, boy -o. Opening doors! Ambushing faces. I just don't want to take any chances. Sorry. Life is pain, I'm well aware. Alright, I got a towel war, that's cool. Not that I have any idea what that is, mind you. I, I mean, from the logo, it's obviously a weapon for Morgana, but I doubt it's any better than what I got. At least once we're done here, I can, like... just If I just have to get to, like, the rest area, and then BOOM! I'll be able to get out of here and go back to, like, a, a lower floor. Oh, there's the exclamation point. Give me your things. Hmm? Alright. I'm guessing because of how earlier I could have done the... Uh, the fortune teller thing. I'm guessing that this is the abusive guy. Okay. This is it. That should be the shadow of the man named Duchimura. Hmm? Doesn't he look like he's worried about something? But he's abusing his girlfriend, right? Oh man, didn't her fortune say she's gonna get seriously hurt? Huh? Can't let that come true. All right, what are you worried about, scum face? This is horrible. Damn it, I gambled away all my money again. Okay, that's what he was worried about. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, concerned it. Where is she? Get over here so I can beat you. I really, wow. What? Don't you dare lecture me. She's mine, I can do whatever I want with her. Yeah, let's see what you say after I, you know, beat you senseless for a few minutes. Beating her is a right that only I have. It feels unspeakably dirty, having said that, out loud, like, to me personally. Ugh. If you want to get in my way, then you're gonna die! Doubt it. Ah, uh, he would be like a, one of those ogre dudes with the smashing and the bashing and what have you. Alright, we should be considerably stronger than you. I'm gonna punch you too! Alright. 
Let's see here. Yep, that's what it feels like when a woman decides to start punching back. And even though you resisted it, you really aren't all that powerful. So... I think we might actually end this straight up right now, right here. One swift whomp with a hammer! Yep, alright, that's the end of this guy. Bada bing, bada bing, bada 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 boom. Oh yeah, just in those gloves he's not wearing. Get money and the experience. I mean, that's still those are still good numbers considering, you know, how low on the totem pole this is. I hate it. I hate it when people look at me like I'm just a bug to them. I can do better. I am a superior human being. All the people around me just don't get it. Uh. Okay, well, we got a sleep stick. The uh, right to meet his girlfriend. He was really the worst of the worst to think that. Also, I, I didn't really hear any regret coming out of him. We changed his heart, so let's go tell the fortune teller when we get the chance. Okay. Would you guys be willing to let me teleport to the entrance? All right. What's next? Do we... Uh, let's go back to the entrance. That's just saving time. Don't mind if I dizzles. All right. Now... We start part way in, as always. Why would I start from the beginning? Do you take me for some form of fool? I mean, don't answer that. I already, I'm, I'm already pretty sure I know the answer. Yeah, I'm driving on a bus. All right. Yep, I know you can't sense anything, buddy. That's because we're trying to start at the top. That uh, tip, 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 it, tip, tip, tap. All right. I wonder who Katul is. Is there a particular reason you can't do that on every floor? Like, for realsies. I feel like that's just... That's phenomenally helpful. Alright, well, this floor is completely useless to us. Just grab what we need and get on out. Just murdered your face off. That's a fake wall. Thank you for that. I probably would have noticed that, but there's a possibility that I wouldn't have, so I appreciate it. They spotted us. Fine. Hey -oh! Fine, if you want to have a tussle, then we're gonna have to tussle. Get them tussles from Brussels. Bip, bap, bibbity, bam! Yep, that's how that works. Oh, they're on a lyrical rampage. Where they accomplished uh, astonishingly little. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you try to, you know, viciously beat up somebody without any limbs. All you can really do is just kind of charge into them a bunch. Inflicted with forgetfulness! And then, inflicted with a hammer to the head, not making that completely pointless. Oh, only the good... The good stuff only ever happens when it's, like, not the right opportunity for it. Like that, that would have been helpful in a lot of other situations. But nay, we won't get it then. We only get it now. Anyway, I feel like... Okay, yeah, this definitely is bad. Yeah, much, much worse. I just wanted to make sure. Blunt weapon capable of putting enemies to sleep. I mean, hit hit anybody in the head hard enough, they'll go to sleep. <laughs> Depending on how hard, it depends on how long they'll stay down. <laughs> like that, uh... I don't think you need a specific thing in order to be able to, you know, do that with a blunt object. You just heard a growl? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. If only you decided to not say that as I was about to open a door, then maybe, just maybe, we could have heard the rest of that conversation. As is? Clearly not. Alrighty. Going down. shoo ba ba day shoo ba ba doo Hinger dinger doo, just driving around, just trying to find my way down through town town, but I can't, cause I'm all out of quarters, can't take the bus, so I've gotta walk, and my social anxiety's flaring up, so I can't ask for directions. Everybody getting introspective up in here! Talking about their character flaws and what have you. I'm not good at making up lyrics on the fly. But it don't matter because you're about to die, yeah. I 
I'm trying to think of something to say. I've got absolutely nothing. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. Until I'm actually able to find... How are we missing? Also, how are you getting so many flipping crits? Makoto is the crit queen. She'll take down a fool without any problem. You can't even... You can't even touch the enemy. Makoto's already killed it. She's just too quick. Too fast. Okay. Although she is not furious, at least not at the moment. I would recommend not irritating her. Can't end well! Really, I wouldn't suggest pissing off anybody in our crew, but you know. They could all destroy your lives in differing ways. Either way, still not the floor we need to be on. I guess that makes me a filthy peon. And I don't mean to be peed on, cause that's gross. Unless you're stung by a jellyfish, in which case, I guess that's just your dish. We gonna get some Dragon Ball power levels all up in this place. hey -oh! I can only assume that's what that was referencing. I mean, really, that's the only show that really put an emphasis on power levels at any point, even though the show... At lo at like long, long, long time ago. Basically flat out said, yeah, these numbers are stupid and they make no sense. We're not going to use them anymore. And that's not going to stop the fans. Don't tell me what to feel about things. Oh, all right. Why'd you turn around? Why did you do that? Oh, it's a bunch of you. You the things weak to bullets? No. Okay, I need to hit you with uh, dark magics. Or I could just use my physical attacks to defeat them in one hit. I'm I'm used well the last time I had to fight things like that, it didn't work. So like like I had to use, you know, weaknesses and stuff. Apparently not anymore. Womp. And then you blow up. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, well at least we have we have full confirmation. Somebody exploding next to you still hurts considerably, even when you're stronger. Go figure. Oh, hey oh, that's great. Go, 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 Makoto. -to. My, my, my neighbor Makoto. -to. I don't know. Uh, I've never watched that movie because none of them really look that interesting. Then again, I don't really even know. Who am I to judge? I'm the guy singing in the subway. Actually, I'm singing inside of a closet that I've refitted into something resembling an office. Ho hum, ho he, ho hum. Bop. Joker. I can see on. It's because I have to wear the glasses doesn't mean I don't see when the things are happening. No matter the size, there must be a weakness. <laughs> we could aim for the eyes. Too obvious. Too obvious. Everyone. Everyone's eyes is their weakness. That's a load of baloney. Get out of here with that. Unless you're the blind kung fu master. In which case, then you just have bad death perception. Let's see. Oh, fantastic. Good. I could have gone to the rest area. That would have worked. That would have been great. But I didn't. Because how was I supposed to know where the hell this dude would be? I ask you. And right, we'll just make a straight downwards tackle that dude in the face, because, you know, that's how you do. Turn all who oppose you into roadkill. There we go. That takes care of you, too. Huzzah! Okay. Alright, alright. Hopefully that wasn't too terribly long. Either way, I ain't cutting any of it out. <laughs> Y'all just gonna have to deal, I'm afraid. Terribly sorry. Terribly sorry. We could rest for a few, my friend, or we could rest for a not few and keep going. Hey, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Especially when you consider how very little we've really accomplished yet. Looking around, what on earth do we do? Is he here? No, he's not. Fantastic. Fantastic. Can't find nobody nowhere. All I can do is run people over and hope for the best. Probably not the kind of thing you would ever want somebody to record you saying, but eh, there you go. Yeah. Okay, 
Apparently that wasn't an ambush. Whatever game. Bip bap bibbity bap. Oh. There we go. Hey, you resist and she just flat out blocks. Well, yeah, but that's kind of how burns work. Although we have proof positive that my, apparently the pajamas are just... Nope. Hey, forgetfulness. Our, our flame retardant. So that's cool. Uh, Alright, that works too. It is just not these dudes' day. You have status ailments, which means that you do more damage. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's highly unnecessary. I mean, I appreciate it. Thanks for the contribution and everything. But maybe next time do that at the beginning of a fight before, you know, the very last finishing blow. Just a, It's just a suggestion. I know you said you'd get better at your whole navigating thing. So I'm sure... Okay. I'm, I'm sure you're aware of that. I just, you know... Come on, let's go. Eh, I'm just saying, man. Pos you know, some, some, some constructive criticism never done to hurt nobody. Okay, another floor where we accomplished nothing. Where the hell is this fool? I just want to beat him up. There we go. Okay, healing up. Them third degree burns are wicked painful, yo. Of course we can, but why run? Why fight when we can run away? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Whoa! Did I miss something here? Why is there uh, two dead ends? What? Oh, there's another way I can go. All right, that works too. Do ba do ba do boo. Bow! Hello, random thing. Which one of the things are you? Weak to guns. Murder it! Murder it with guns and blades and, and punches and whips and clubs. I'm the only one with a blade. There you go. Yo, that's a sizable chunk of money. Huh, only like, you know, about a hundred more of those and I might actually get all the money I got back from that scam! Boom shakalaka! Ain't nobody got time for that noise. Okay, this appears to be... Four straight dead ends? Okay, no, they're... <laughs> the way these... The way I keep going, it makes it look like, um... I was unaware that was even a thing! Either way, I guess that's the way through. Alright, jumping on in! Now, are you the bossman? Or are you the cheaty cheater 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 who cheats? That's the question we have to ask ourselves today. Bazanga! That's Kishi Shadow, right? God, he looks so pig-headed. This guy abuses his position at work, right? The rest of the people under him and all that. It's awful. Uh, it's people like him who create awful workplace environments. Yes. Well, well then let's, let's go. go punch him in the face. I'm all down for that. Ah. Ah, are you guys the Phantom Thieves? You look like you have some complaints for me. Yeah, mostly the beatings. Stealing credit from your subordinates is one of the worst things you could do as a superior. That's my way of management. It's efficient. I give the orders and all my underlings do all the work. It's a pretty easy job as long as the numbers go up. That idiot president won't say anything. If my underlings have a problem, they should just get promoted. But since I evaluate them, <laughs> not happening. How did someone like you ever get promoted? If I were the president, you'd be fired. <laughs> Shut up, kids. Your reasoning doesn't apply in the real world. Well, yeah, no, it doesn't. The system is broken, and it's almost impossible to fix. Luckily for us, and unfortunately for you, we're not in the real world. So, hey -o. get ready for a beatdown. If you don't get it, I'll teach you a lesson as your high and mighty ruler. Alright, that's an interesting form to take. I know they're not very, you know, obviously indicative of the person themselves, because these are side quests and whatnot, but... In business! This voice sounds even weirder coming from this. Circumstances shape results, and the results are all for the sake of the ruler. Me. Look at my protruding pelvis. Are you uncomfortable? Your coming here happened by circumstance, but the results that follow? They'll favor me. Alright, so you say stuff like that, but what if I hit you with atomic energy? Yep, see, that's a- uh, Okay, we got the brain shakes! Oh, that didn't do anything. You're mad at your job! 
All right. Ice damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fire damage. Still nada nada nada. And lightning bolt. The freaking Sun Wukong up in here. I find it hard to believe that it's not Sun Wukong, so I'm just going to assume it is. Oh! You serious with this noise? You serious with this noise? That's something you're doing, huh? Alright. Yep, yeah, yeah, let's see. How much does that hurt you? Yeah, alright. We'll just wail on you. Brain shake! Your brain shake did nothing. I'm assuming it's supposed to do something with a name like Brain Shake, I assumed it would, like, I don't know, inflict either confusion or brainwash or something. Apparently not. Defense reverted! Let the punching continue. Brain Shake! Alright, well, you tried. I mean, you failed horribly, but hey, you tried. So, you know, you've got that going for you. And I just got a big chunk of money! And, up. Oh, okay. Just Yusuke. <laughs> Hi, I'm still here. What a skill. Heavy physical damage to all foes. Dang. Medium physical damage to all foes. Medi minuscule physical damage to one foe for three, five times. Giant slice, medium physical damage to one foe. Heavy physical damage to one foe. Then yeah, the one that's gonna... Um, yeah, we'll do that. Man, wouldn't have expected Yusuke to be so physical attack oriented. Then again, the last Ice Mage I had on the team was also one of those. I wonder if that was intentional. I mean, Chie had had Ice Magic, but really her thing was physical attacks. Interesting. My my boss from a long time ago used to harass me. I thought it'd be fine if I did the same thing. That's dumb as hell. Before long, I started reveling in pushing my subordinates around. I'm sorry. What have I done to my precious subordinates? I made them take responsibility for my mistakes. Set them far away, messed up their lives. It's all my fault. All mine. How do you intend to take responsibility for all this? I'll read some business books. Yeah, okay, that'll work. I'll try to do what I can to become an ideal boss. I mean, obviously forfeiting my position is out of the question, but you know. I want you to think carefully about what kind of boss you'd like to work for. Figure it out. Uh. Nerd. Theme park escort. Excuse me, what? An amusement park guidebook? Even if you abused your subordinates, I guess your kids were real important to you. Either that or he was going to them. I think you might be giving him a little too much credit there, Ryuji, but hey, good on you. Thinking about the good in everybody. Hey. Well, let's head back to the entrance again. I'm not going to explore the rest of this thing if I don't gotta. Okay, so once more, a little bit of the savey saves. Well, then. then we'll start part way in, as we always do. Alright, it's either up or down. Which one's gonna be my friend? Hum ba dum bow. I'm sensing the target from an area below us. Then downwards we shall go. Thank you for your information, Kitty Cat Jenkins. Although I feel like Futaba would probably have a better handle on that kind of situation. I mean, it is kind of her job now, but whatever, I mean, hey, whatever makes you feel important. I can sense our target somewhere in this area. Okay, well, that was easy. All right, that sort of kind of slightly makes up for the whole uh, messing everything else up thing. Taking so freakishly long with all those other ones, trying to find the dude. Uh, you know, assuming I can find the dude. Okay, the dude's over there. And I ain't talking about Lebowski. The dude abides. Alright. So I guess the only guy left is Cheater McCheaterface. How we managed to figure this dude out, I haven't the actual slightest. But, uh, hey, I guess names aren't important. Even though they're supposedly, like, the most thing important. Oh, wait, we do know his name? Alright, I guess I completely forgot. He looks so pathetic. He's cheating in a video game, right? Yeah. yeah, he's a cheater. It's not something an adult should be doing. Or a kid. But, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. Let's go! Sure thing, Anio. Hi. <laughs> it's useless. In the gun about world, no one can defeat me. Cheating, I don't know what you're talking about. 
The winners are the ones who are right! It's the winners who decide what justice is! And what greater winner is there than me? I am the god of the gunabout world! Oh yeah! I am the god of the gunabout world! I am invisible! No one ever to defeat me! No matter how many come against me! No one can ever wound me! This guy is definitely more boastful than the typical sort. And now he's a cheetah and a speedo. Cool swords, though. I'll give it that much. <laughs> I'm strong and the most powerful. Okay, apparently the voice I gave this guy was uh, the exact opposite of what it really was. Apparently he's got the solemn draw to him. Okay, see, now, I think this might be something interesting, considering the fact that I don't think I've ever had any of these side quest dudes talk back. Well, not with voice acting. That usually is reserved for, like, you know, more important things. Oh my god, are you actually... Like, literally, we can't hit you? Oh, that's a lot of blades! Ow, ow. Oh, 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 Nelly. Nelly, Helly, Helly, Jelly Beans. Okay, hang on, everybody. Okay, now let's see. Uh, yes, he is. Now, hold up, hold up. Muscle drink. Do not worry. Cures fear. Uh, cures forget. Uh, cures rage. Settle down there, buddy boy. All right, and just for reference, I really can't hit him. Oh boy, the only thing I can think of would be shooting him, because he's all about the gun about stuff. Maybe that's his gimmick. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, yeah, that didn't work. Huh? Okay. I have tried everything, and it has not worked, so... I'm guessing this is the kind of thing you can't win. But I can't leave either, so that's certainly a problem. Hmm. What exactly am I supposed to do about this? I told you it's useless! There's no way you can win against me! Is, is that really all it takes to be immortal in here? Truly believing yourself to be invincible? Why haven't we tried that? Look at him, acting all smug because of his cheats. You're a hacker, why don't you hack him? We can't do anything to him at this rate, though. Let's retreat for now and rethink our approach. Uh, alrighty. This is certainly a different take on the mission. I've never had to retreat before. Uh, hey, what's that? Her attacks did nothing to him. Yes, unfortunately, it appears we do not even have a chance of victory. Yo, Morgana, ain't there anything we can do? Mm. I don't know, I'm just a cat. As I've already mentioned, the metaverse is a place where people's cognitions materialize. So what you're saying, like, nobody that we've gone up against to, up to this point has ever considered themselves to be untouchable? Even I can't predict what will happen in here. <laughs> uh, if only we could figure out what his ability is. Well, I mean, he's cheating. Right, right. Oh, okay, suddenly you have your frog thing back. That's exactly right! So we'll need to figure out a way to break through his cheat. Well, then we'll just have to cheat ourselves? That's fine, but let's do it somewhere else. It's not exactly what I'd call safe here. We should talk more when there aren't any shadows. Well, We can make it our homework, then. I'll just think of more ways on this topic after we return to reality. Okay. I hope it doesn't add too much w more work to your plate. Homework. Yeah, I guess that works. Anyways, let's get going. Alright, thanks for bringing me back to the entrance. I'm glad I got those two other missions. Otherwise, uh, if I went in for just that one, I would feel pretty cheated. Alright, though, but that's, uh, yeah. That should be a huge step in the right direction. And it's possible, possible even, that I might be able to still... I might be able to, like, go and talk to that, uh, fortune teller, like, Whoa, hello! Okay, that was weird. I had, like, a brief moment of, uh, like, I, I hit the button to, like, get the phone, and then boom! Suddenly a conversation. What do we do about that cheater? Ain't we screwed if our attacks can't do nothing? 
He is invincible at his game, so he's invincible in Mementos as well. And how about we just beat him at that game of him? Oh, but he'll just cheat. How about we ask for help from a skilled player? Supposedly there's an insanely good gamer they call the King somewhere in this city. I've seen all over the forums how he managed to beat this cheater himself with orthodox methods. For real? Where can we find him? I checked his account from the official server, but I couldn't pinpoint what Arcade he goes to. Sorry. Probably the only one that had portrait art. That smug kid with a dumb hat. But if he's really that famous, won't it be easy to find him? That's true. Okay, we should gather intel on the king at the arcades around the city. I didn't know someone could get famous just by being good at a video game. Oh ye of little kitty faith! In any case, we might be able to get through this if we can find this king. With his help, we'll crush that cheating jerk for sure! Alright, now let me use the phone. Hey, help me out. Fine. <laughs> I, I like I like the like uh okay, if that's what I gotta do. How's the pressure, master? Mm-hmm. You know, you really do not have to call me that. It's genuinely kind of disturbing. Master! That should be it. Yeah! Oh. Looks like that was effective. See you later. Alrighty. Later, lady. Let's go and see if we can do something, uh, you know, worthwhile. Alright, let's check the phone. Cheerful fortune teller! Alright. By popular request, we're going back yet again. You know, this thing hasn't even started yet. I've went and talked to this lady, uh, like, on four separate occasions. And I still haven't gotten any- oh, it's those guys. I still haven't st even started- I seriously, it's not even listing her name. What do you think? Well, did her fate change? Well, I'm gonna tell her the result. Fine, Fine let's hear it. Please sit down. Please let the confidant actually start now. I mean, I actually don't have any proof unless they show up. Goodness gracious. Oh, are we voice acted now? Confidant start? I have absolutely no proof of it, and I don't really understand why you would just take my word for it, but okay. But even if he did stop, her fate should still be heading down the path to misery without changing. Yeah, well, maybe you're not right. I mean, look. What? Huh? What's up? The sequence of Arcana has completely changed. Death has moved far off into the future. Oh, well, how about that? So you can predict the future. It just so happens that I can also change it. Fancy! Yeah. Fate's not absolute, yo. No, no, no. This must be some sort of trick. Says the person reading tarot cards. What are you, a scam artist? You made a deal with her boyfriend or something, didn't you? Did you just call me a scam artist? I don't make deals. None of your business. Did you plunge him into Tokyo Bay, or cram him into a metal drum and dump insects on him? Okay, the first one may maybe makes some sense. The second one, that's a little oddly specific. You must have taken some sort of extreme measures. Well, I injured his subconscious and beat him up until he decided to stop doing things. There's no way to really accurately explain that. Yeah, I'm really not capable of that stuff. Besides, I'm on parole. Well, you certainly do seem like just an ordinary high school kid. I mean, look at my face. Look how boring I am. But there's no way that could have happened without you breaking the law. But I didn't. I mean, how could an ordinary high school student change the course of fate? I don't know, man. You ask literally any JRPG protagonist in history. I'm sure they'll all have varying answers for you. Okay. Can I have my money back? Quite a serious situation for a fortune teller like me. I need to get to the bottom of this. You won't have to do anything. Just sit next to me while I tell fortunes. Okay. And if another unopposable fate happens to appear, then I'll test your power. Um. Do I get anything out of this? Well, that may be true. 
other than basking in your truly warm personality of accusations and root and you know money stealing. Oh, I know. I'll read your fortune. Uh huh. Please, I'll even prioritize your readings over my regular customers. Okay. Besides, I'll be able to provide much more accurate predictions once I get to know you better. Is that so? How does that sound? Is it a deal? I still don't really get anything out of this, but sure. Mm, otherwise, it won't be able to go on. Okay, well you actually for whatever the whatever the long-term goal of yours is, it's clear that this is very much distressing. So, I mean, I can't ignore that. Please, I beg you. I need to know if they truly can be changed. Okay. All right, fine. I'm not going to say you seem somewhat you useful. Know? Really? That's just mean. Skills. My skills are unprecedented. Please don't blow me off, okay? We made a deal after all. Now the main question is, what on earth kind of benefits do I get from you and are they really as super freakishly amazing as everyone seems to be implying? And also I'd say it would be obvious, you know, obviously, you know, you'd be of the Fortune Arcana, but I think I already have the Fortune Arcana. Unless I don't. But what else could she ever be? Also, what on earth are you, could you be talking about with this lady? Unless you were lucky, there's no way you could have repeatedly done so many crimes. Um, I'm far from the first to get away with more than one crime, dude. Or, or perhaps ma'am. Someone you consulted who gave you precise advice. Miss, whatever doesn't offend you. You're not getting away this time with just luck. I. I feel like you're kind of grasping at straws there. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the fortune Okay, I, I thought I had the fortune arcana already. The winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Hmm. All right. I mean, the fortune arcana was good to me in the last game. Luck reading! Temporarily increase the growth rate of a selected social stat. What? All right. Wait, what? No, hold on. Can I get a thorough explanation of that? Is fate really something that can be changed? Whoa, 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 stop. This lady can make me, like, boost my stats faster? If it's really possible... I'm sorry, I'm sure your personal character arc is very important, but what? Hmm. Oh, it's getting late. Your entire confidant exists just to help break the game? Let's close up shop for today. It's past your curfew. I mean, admittedly, once I have rank 5 and everything, it's completely pointless, but like, what? Well, damn, okay. I guess that's why people were upset. Fair enough. I uh, guess... But it said temporary increase, so I don't even know what the hell. Let's see. Oh, I've changed my hours. I don't recall giving you a phone number. We can start during the day since you're a student. We can't do it when it rains, though, since we'll be outside. Come during the day for your fortune and at night for the test. Eh. Okay. I mean, sure. That's what people want me to do. And if I can remember what button is the map. There we go. Uh. You said to show up during the day. And you said it was two days. So. Somewhere. Um. Are you not? No, you are. What in the actual fresh level of hell is that? Alright, the less I see of that, the better. I was curious about you, so I read your fortune. Uh, I tried numerous times, but the Empress card kept appearing. Last time I felt that, you were having trouble with women, but I said something different now. Anyway, please be careful. Well then, shall I read your fortune in detail? Fine. Which fortune would you like to have read? 
The social stat of your choosing will have a greater increase when doing activities. Wow! Reading your luck improvement fortune will cost, cost you 5,000 yen. Alright, that's a fair deal. I feel like I should get a bunch of free ones because of the 100,000 I spent earlier, but whatever. Please think of which area in which you'd like to increase your luck. Okay. Um. I feel like I'm really flicking. Really flipping, flicking. Uh, close to getting charm already. And I need to. But we just got kindness. So knowledge or kindness. I'm gonna go with kindness, I guess. How long does it last? Hmm. Mm hmm. The Hierophant card. Uh, so zero. It seems you will greatly benefit from taking actions that will increase your kindness. Your kindness is more likely to increase today. Okay, that's how temporary. That's all for today's improvement reading. What do you think? Hope you're happy with your fortune. I look forward to your next visit. And it didn't take up time either. Interesting. It's like, oh, oh man, it's exactly like the fortune tellers in the Paper Mario games. I mean, it's not the exact same effect, but essentially... Wow. Okay. So I need to do something that ups kindness, huh? Okay, okay. Problem! Other than the flower shop and giving that plant nutrients, I haven't the slightest idea. Huh, yeah, I, had, I do not know. Huh. Alright, well, I mean... I guess we're gonna go to the flower shop! <laughs> That's... That's the only thing I can think of, and I think it's been too soon. I can't take advantage of, um, my, my plant or anything. Oh, boy. I feel like my kindness will develop. Yep, all right, well, let's go. I wonder how much of a boost it really is. Like, is it just one extra plib, or, or what? We have a, oh, no, not a bouquet. All right. I'm counting on you. Our customer wants small flowers with soft coloration. The hell's a soft color? The request is for small flowers with soft col coloration. That means white or light colors, right? Oh, okay. Let's see. Large red? No. A blue of normal? A small orange flower? I don't know if that's light enough. We'll see. Hang on. I just wanted to see how many we had. A large yellow flower? Nope. Shiny red flower? Nope. Small yellow flower? Maybe. A large pink flower? Nope. A light blue flower of normal size? Nope. Small light blue flower? Mm -mm. Well, it said light, so... A large white flower? A light yellow f uh, flower? A small white flower? Okay, well, that definitely. Small white flower. There you go. And let's see. There was like... Um, what? Uh, a small light blue flower? Yeah, light blue. I guess that's soft. So, small... And soft. A small yellow flower. Not entirely sure why a flower called Rainbow Sage is yellow, but, uh, yeah, okay. This might work. If not, I guess I don't really care, but, you know. They bought the banquet without any complaints. Mm. I guess that's a pretty standard reaction. Oh, cool. Great. So I didn't even do that good. Good times. Here's your pay for today. It's your standard wages. Glad I, uh, wasted my time with that. Sigh. Nope. Oh, well, nice work. Be careful out. Oh, yeah, I guess you don't need to be vigilant anymore. Yeah, I'm all aware. How are you feeling? You worked pretty hard today. Perhaps you should start partying hard as well. Just two plibs. All right. Well, now I don't know what the hell. Wanna head back? Okay. I feel like I didn't really get much of a benefit out of that. Hmm. I'll assume that I did. Uh, unless people were trying to play a mean old prank on me. Oh, and you wanna- Okay. Fine. I will do exactly that in just a moment. I am like 98% positive I can't do anything with the plant up here, but I gotta try. Failing that, I should probably figure out where I bought that freaking fertilizer from to begin with. Nice. Yeah, it looks pretty healthy for now. Well, maybe I wanted to be more healthy, kitty cat. Alright. I'm going to expose your so-called skills. You can't fool me! Guess I'll go to the red light district and kill some time. That 
It's an odd thing for a cat to do, but alrighty. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat there, buddy. Whatever butters your egg roll. Oh! Good evening. I guess I'm just gonna sit next to you? Okay, this isn't weird. Hello there, Mifu Sensei. I can't wait for today's session. Your last prediction was practically perfect. Oh, by the way, who the ever loving hell is this loser? Oh, you needn't need mind him. That's just my apprentice. Hmm, alright. If anything, you can think of him as a human sized stuffed animal. I mean, look how fluffy his hair is. I mean, it's not as fluffy as my friend Haru's, but I mean, yeah, I definitely take second place in the fluff. Wait, so he's okay working for a woman even though he's a guy? Uh, yeah? Why? How would that be a problem? <sighs> Something like that is just unthinkable in my line of work. Ah! I take that to mean something else happened with your job. Yeah, a male co-worker of mine was given all the credit for a successful project I poured my soul into. Yeah, okay. I mean, that is how females are treated in the workforce. Pretty much everywhere. I'm sure there are a couple utopian-like areas in the world where it's not the case, but... Mm, yeah, okay, I guess I, I get it, but, like, yeah, not nah, work... But, I mean, like, you say it's a co-worker. Are you the boss? Because if you are, you can fire them, and if you're not, I'm confused as to where that line of conversation came from. And do you know what my boss told me? He said it was just because the natural order of things, because I'm a woman. Well, that's just straight messed up. That's why I'm thinking of leaving and starting up my own business. I've actually been planning for some time. Ah, cool. Gonna be crushing those dreams by changing the heart of your boss, I guess. I'm not sure if we'll be able to find a foothold in the market, though. In that case, let's ask the tarot! Show us the truth, oh divine power! Flippity flippity flip! Yes, I've seen everything. Hmm. The cards have appeared in reverse. In other words, it seems as though your business is doomed to failure. N no! What should I do? I'm sorry, but in this case, it appears your fate is inescapable. Inescapable? What are your thoughts? Were you even listening? Yeah, I was. What, we do? what can we do to help this woman who is so oppressed by the savagery of a male-dominated work environment? Well, I mean, I'm not going to be able to change the, you know, the sexist minds of every single office worker in the planet. I There's not enough time in a lifetime to do that. I say... Well, I mean, yeah, we change the boss's heart. I'm not sure I understand what you mean by that. As such, I would suggest you think of something else. I have the power to curse you permanently, you know. Oh, oh, fine. I say we encourage her. What? what? It's a little idealistic to expect that will actually work. Incidentally, what would you say if you wanted to encourage her? Overturn your fate. Don't be so irresponsible. That's simply not an option. How can you expect her to overturn that which is inescapable? Overturning fate? That's right. I don't have to follow the rules of this oppressed society. I can flip any table I want. I can do it. I reshape every aspect of my an antiquated industry. My mind is made up. I'm going to quit my job and set off my own private business venture. And even if I fail, at least I won't be wasting away doing busy work for that Texas bastard anymore. Whoa! Thank you, young man. If you'll excuse me, Mufun Sensei. What? Eh. All right, I guess I don't have to do anything. You're far too irresponsible, Unokari san. Her misfortune has already been made clear. The cards will surely back me up on that. Or maybe I'm just magic? Because I didn't do nothing that time. What? It seems the sequence of cards has changed. Her financial future is now appearing as extremely successful. Well, now it just seems like the only reason your cards ended up the way they did the first time is because you... It was like a self-fulfilling prophecy. You're like, mmm, yep, seems like everything's gonna be terrible. No escaping that. Sorry. But if you instead decided to hell with your fate, fight the power, woman, and I guess you'd be successful. Ta-da. What did you do? Are you... Are you psychic? Did you use your powers to change the order of the cards? My divine power is capable of sending people like you down to the depths of hell, you know. You really make it fun to hang out with you. Yes, that has to be it. That's the only way this could happen. Fate cannot be changed. Fate is absolute. That is how it must be. Y'all should open your minds. Not being very clairvoyant. That may not be such a bad idea. 
But if that possibility were the truth, how would I keep my holy stone business intact? Is that really all there is to it? Anyway. You changed the flow of destiny twice now. Both times coming before my very eyes. Although you, I never really did get confirmation on the first one. It seems this verification process is turning out to be much more meaningful than I expected. Alrighty then. And that's how you do that. You'll come back again soon, right? Promise me! Goodbye! Alrighty, alrighty. Progress is being made. So far, I can't say I've really seen the benefits of doing this, but maybe the higher ranks are better. Well, I mean, that was just rank one. Can't judge them for that one. I found an awesome magazine. I'll bring it to the hideout. You have tomorrow off for health and sports day, right? I, I guess. It'll definitely get your adrenaline pumping. I really want to read it, but I'll wait till tomorrow. See ya. I want to share a magazine? What? All right, whatever. Let me nap. Let me nap. Just let me take a nap. I don't want to have to pass out, but I will. It's just what I do. Hey. hey, Futaba down here. Sounds like Futaba down here. All right, well, then I guess we'll go hang out with Futaba in the next part. I hope you guys had a super fantabulous time and perhaps maybe, just maybe, assuming you guys have been getting proportionately more angry about the fact that I haven't done the, the Fortune Arcana up to this point, are happy that I've decided to actually start doing that. Um, I will not see the benefits of this for a very long time, though. Like, I don't know, like two or three months from now. Huh? Either way, again, hope you guys had a great time. I'll see you all next time, where hopefully... Hopefully we find a way out of this extraordinarily perilous situation that we're obviously about to get into. I'll see you then.